Hello friends, welcome back to Star Styles Homestead, Teresa. So tonight, again, I didn't feel like cooking. So I'm going to put together a really quick meal. I have rotisserie chicken. I just cut up probably half a rotisserie chicken um, into bite-sized pieces, okay? And here is what we're going to do. Let me bring you over here. What I also did, I did two cups of rice, okay? Um, I made it on the stove real quick before the video. Uh, my dehydrated, okay? I'm gonna dump both cups of those, or all of it right into my pan. My oven is set on 350 right now. I'll just use this. Okay. Quick and quickie. So this morning I made, uh, I'm just going to add this whole can right to it. Um, my niece came over with a bag of um, peaches last night from one of her customers. So I cut them all up and canned them today. Uh, peach, peach jelly jam. Okay, now I have about a cup or so of sour cream in here. I have a pack of Lipton noodle soup. I'm going to add it right into that sour cream. I'm going to use this because it's all going together. I'm just going to mix it all up in here. Yummy, yummy. If you don't like onions, you're not going to like this, this mixture. Okay, I'm going to dump that right in there. Probably should have used the bowl, but that's all right. The pan will work. It's big enough. And we're trying to make it easy, not more dishes, right? Okay. I'm going to mix this all together here. Let's put you back down. Or just start mixing it. And I'm going to add the chicken right in there. And then I'm going to add oh, about two cups of sharp cheddar. Okay. I feel like I'm forgetting something here. Ooh, this smells good. And the best thing is, it's taken me five minutes. Well, that's what the whole one minute it took to put that rice on the stove and cook that. So, and I've got a pretty big pan here. So this is going to get done pretty quick. Now, what I am going to do... sprinkle with salt and, ah, salt and pepper now that I put it all out you do this to taste whatever however much you want we can always add more later and you can always add red peppers green peppers into this if you want and I was going to but they weren't cooked and I knew this was only going to be in the oven for about 20-25 minutes and I didn't want crunchy ones in this. So, and because that's all cooked, I'm just going to take a taste. Mm, perfect. <laughs> so, now I'm going to just spread it out.
and last but not least I'm gonna take some French onion onions and cover the top with it you know me and crunchy I'm not gonna be shy with these <laughs> And there you have it, my friends. Oh. Mmm. I love those things. And they're just going to get crunchier in the oven. Let's get that off the side. And there you have it, my friends. Six minutes, 41, 43. In the oven. 20 minutes. Done. <laughs> uh, 25 minutes, my friends. And look at this. And look at these. Oh. Mm. I just took it out of the oven, so I'm going to give it a couple minutes <laughs> to cool down just a tad. And then I'll do your taste test. What could be bad about that? I mean, just the ease of that I would eat it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alrighty, case test time. Look at this. I did my husband's with some fresh um, cucumbers and our cherry tomatoes. And let me tell you, I don't know what these cherry tomatoes are. These real light ones. They are so good. So good. So, it's still hot. You know, Miss Impatient here. Grab a piece of that chicken. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh my goodness, that is so good. There you have it, friends. Mm. I love French fried tomato French fried onions. Those are even better on top in the oven because it makes them even crispier. Takes away that greasy taste because they tend to have that greasy taste to them. That's really good, my friends. And seriously, that might have taken me 10 minutes and I got half the dishes clean too. It did, it was in there for 25 minutes for mine. Um, I ended up putting it on because it just started browning on the top. Oh my God, these are good. Um, so I just added another five minutes to it. There you have it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. By the way, that cake from yesterday is amazing. I cut it up, gave both my neighbors a piece, and then froze a few pieces and left two pieces out for me and my husband for our snack tonight. You guys, I'll see you again. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. And we'll see you soon. Bye.